everybody, my name's Alyssa. I'm a senior at Seton Hall University studying international relations and I studied abroad spring 2020 in Grenoble, France. Follow along with me today as I take over AIFS's Instagram story. To start at the beginning, I knew that I wanted to study abroad in France ever since I first started learning French in high school. In college, I double majored in international relations and modern languages, and so it fit perfectly in what I was studying. And after a really quick Google search on how to study abroad in France, I came across AIFS, and after reading all the information online, I just knew that it was a perfect fit. One of the biggest reasons I ended up choosing AIFS is how affordable it ended up being. The program fees that you see are all inclusive, so your housing, a meal plan of some sorts, insurance, cultural activities, and excursions are all included in that fee. Um, I remember being surprised when I was abroad by how much was covered. I got an unlimited tram pass. Um, to get to and from classes and around the city um, and a lot of the excursions ended up being my favorite memories from being abroad. So my biggest goal when I went to study abroad was to learn French. So I knew that I didn't want to go anywhere with too many tourists. Um, I chose Grenoble because I just fell in love with the pictures of the mountains and the river. Um, and when I got there, I just loved it even more. So I was in AIFS's French language and culture program. So in the mornings, I had French language courses, grammar, listening comprehension, writing. Um, and in the afternoon, I took electives in politics, civilization and mythology, and culture and society. I lived in a student residence in Grenoble and it was really cool because a lot of international students live there as well. So you meet a bunch of people from all over the world and you kind of bond over learning this one common language together. So you help each other out. My favorite class had to be my civilization and mythology class. We looked at a ton of myths and folk tales to see how they impacted French culture today. And my professor was a theater professor. So when she told us those stories, it really did feel like we were watching a show. Public transportation was one of my favorite parts about Grenoble. It was so easy. We had an unlimited pass for the whole semester so we could ride the trams and buses to classes or all over the city. Grenoble's location makes it so easy to travel out of. You can take a bus into Switzerland or into Italy for a weekend trip, or you can find the airport just an hour away in Lyon or three hours away in Paris. My friends and I definitely took full advantage of the weekends that we got and the winter break that we had in February. Um, my favorite cities that we visited were Berlin, Amsterdam, and Budapest. My favorite aspect of French culture had to be the cafe culture. I have always loved coffee, but at home I'm always getting it to go. So it was really nice to be able to sit and have some me time in a day just for myself and my coffee. Don't worry at all. I think studying abroad is one of those experiences that really bonds people. Everybody's going through the same exact thing, so you can really lean on each other and make friends that way, and you have these unforgettable memories that bond you guys forever. There are definitely a lot of factors to think about when deciding what program would be best for you. For me, I looked at my academic goals, big city versus small city, and put in a lot of research before I ultimately decided that Grenoble, France was the best fit for me. I think Grenoble is unique in that its size really gives you the best of both worlds. It's big enough that there's something new to do every single day, but small enough that it very quickly starts to feel like home. So I studied abroad spring 2020, and unfortunately my program was cut short due to COVID-19. I wanted to address that today because I know it can be scary to think about studying abroad right now or in a post-COVID world. And I want to say that AIFS did a really great job in keeping our health and safety their priority during the whole situation. I really appreciated our resident director on site for calming our nerves and making the transition in going home as seamless as possible. I was able 
to complete all my classes online and still get the credits that I was supposed to receive if I had finished the program in France. Um, and so now I think looking back on it, I appreciate the time that I did have in France even more. That being said, I think the biggest piece of advice I can offer a future study abroad participant is to take advantage of every single day. As cliche as it is, studying abroad is a great opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone. So try something new, do something you thought you'd never do before, and you'll be making some great memories that'll last you a lifetime. If you'd like more information on how you can study abroad, feel free to click the links in my bio and in AIFS's bio. Thanks everybody, bye.